for yoga. I appreciate your time and effort. I just want to say to remember to listen to your body, modify and extend as you see fit and as your body sees fit. Um, it's fun being back in my studio that I teach in regularly. This is a different view than what most of my other videos are. So it's fun to be back in an environment that I love teaching in and teaching my students in. So just remember, listen to your body, modify as needed, extend as needed, and let's get into our child's pose. We're gonna come onto the back of our mat, sitting back on the heels, legs are together or spread apart, you decide, and the chest is gonna lean forward. And we are just slowly gonna come into the breath, taking a few inhales and exhales, really stretching it out here. Let's take a deep inhale in and exhale out. Inhale again and exhale out. Let's take one more inhale in and exhale. And now let's move the body. Let's take the upper body and move it over to the right side of the yoga mat. Chest might be on top of that right leg, maybe not. And the left arm is gonna cross, so we're really feeling the stretch here. And let's bring it back to center. And let's switch sides. Take the upper body over to the left. Right arm might cross over. And let's bring it back. Arms are going to stretch out in front, really feeling the stretch here. Hold for three, two, and let's release. And let's slowly pull the upper body up, coming in to tabletop position. Hand or shoulder distance apart, knees or hip distance. And we're slowly just gonna keep moving that body. Take the right arm, reach it out in front, left leg comes back, squaring the hips here. Toes are flexed towards the yoga mat. Hold here and breathe. And let's bring it down. Just taking it nice and easy. Left arm comes out, right leg comes back. Toes are flexed towards the yoga mat. Elongate your spine. Envision one long line here. And let's bring it down. Let's curl the toes on the yoga mat. Lift off of those knees. And let's bring it in to down facing dog. Holding here, let's pedal the legs, bending it back and forth. And let's find stillness in your down facing dog. Take an inhale here. Look at your thumbs, bend your knees. And let's get to the top of our yoga mat. Stay down for a forward fold. And let's roll it all the way up. Arms reaching up towards the ceiling. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, bring it all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we're going to step it back and bringing it into our high plank position. Holding in high plank. I want you to just hold this here. Knees are more than welcome to come down as your modification. And then push it up into a down facing dog. Bend those knees and bring them all the way down to the yoga mat. And adjust as needed to come in back into a tabletop position. From here, right arm is going to come out, left leg comes back. And from here, you're gonna stay right where you are, or we're gonna take that left leg and you're gonna open it up to the side. Right arm can stay out, or it can come down for support. Hold for three, two, and bring it back down. Let's switch sides. Left arm comes out, right leg comes back. Toes are flexed towards the yoga mat. Right leg can open up. Lift it up high, not too high, but high enough where it's not sinking into the yoga mat. And bring it down, left hand comes down. Curl the toes on the yoga mat. 
Lift off of those knees and bring it back into down facing dog. Holding here for inhale. And as you exhale, look at your thumbs, bend your knees, and let's get back to the top of our yoga mats. Staying down for a forward fold, and let's roll it all the way up. Arms reaching up towards the ceiling. We are going to come into an early chair today. Hands are going to come down to the heart, and I want you to just slightly sit. Holding here, and then take it all the way down to a forward. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's step it back and we're coming into our high plank position. Let's flow through our sun salutations. Take an inhale here. With the exhale, shift the feet forward, chest comes forward and we bend the arms, coming into our first chaturanga. Inhale to up facing dog. Toes are uncurled, chest is lifted. Maybe the legs are down, you decide. And exhale, bringing it in back to down facing dog. Let's do that again. Bring the upper body forward. Bend those elbows. Bring it down, chaturanga. Inhale, the up facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Let's take that right leg, bring it up towards the ceiling. Bend that right knee, open the hip. And take that right leg, bring it in between the hands. I want you to stay down for a low lunge. Let yourself really feel the stretch here. Take an inhale. With the exhale, let's rise it up. Arm reaching up towards the ceiling. Coming into our first crescent lunge. Now, hands come to the heart. I want you to take that left knee and bring it down to the yoga mat. Hands are at the heart. Take an inhale. Hands will come down to the yoga mat. As you straighten that right leg, bringing the nose closer to the knee, or shin. Hold for three, two, bend that right knee, arms come back up. Let's bring it back up to crescent lunge. Holding for inhale. With the exhale, you're just gonna simply flow it out. Hands are gonna come through the heart. Right leg comes back. High to low plank. Inhale to up facing dog. Exhale down facing dog. Take that left leg, bring it up towards the ceiling. Bend that left knee, open the hip. And left leg comes in between the hands. Stay down for a low lunge. Let yourself feel the stretch. And let's rise it up. Crescent lunge. Hold it here. Bring the right knee down. Hands come to the heart, a little wobbly from here. Hands come down, straighten that left leg as you straighten the knee and bring the upper body down. Hold for three, two, bend the left knee. Let's bring it back up, crescent lunge. And let's flow, hands come through the heart, bring it down, left leg comes back, high to low plank. Inhale to up facing dog. Exhale down facing dog. Look at your thumbs, bend your knees. Let's get to the top of our yoga mat. Staying down for a forward fold. And let's roll it all the way up. Arms reaching up towards the ceiling. Hands are going to open up into cactus. Two toes are together. Chest lifts out. Thighs guide you back. Leaning back, coming into a nice back bend here. Hold for three, two. Let's bring it forward all the way. Take it into an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's step and float it back, bringing it in high to low plank. Inhale to up facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Take an inhale here. With the exhale, take that right leg, bring it up towards the ceiling. Right arm or right leg comes in between the hands and we rise on up, crescent lunge. Switching sides, because we're gonna, I'm gonna switch sides because I'm opening up into warrior two here. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, open it up to warrior two. Now, 
from here. Let's reverse the warrior. Right palm flips back. Let's reach it all the way back. Back to warrior two. Let's take it into our first side angle. Shift the upper body forward. Right elbow to the right knee. Left arm comes up. Holding it here. Let's bring it back up to warrior two. Stay here for inhale. With the exhale, we're gonna bring it back to crescent lunge. Turn that left heel and bring it all the way up to crescent lunge. Holding here. From here, I want you to stay or take that right heel, lift it off of the yoga mat. Really feeling it in the legs here. Let's bring that right heel down. We're gonna flow it out. Hands come through the heart, bringing the hands down. Right leg is going to come back, lower down. If you want, you can keep that right leg up as you lower. Inhale the up facing dog. Exhale down facing dog. Stay for inhale. And as you exhale, take the left leg, bring it up towards the ceiling. Bend that left knee, open the hip. And let's take that left leg and bring it in between the hands. And we rise on up. Take an inhale here, and with the exhale, open up to warrior two. Let's reverse the warrior, left palm flips up, let's reach it back, back to warrior two. Side angle, left side, upper body shifts, left elbow comes to that left knee, arm comes up. Hold here and breathe for three, two, bring it back up to warrior two. Stay steady here, right arm, right leg. Bring it up. From here, you stay in crescent lunge or take that left heel and lift it off. Work in those legs, hold for three, two. Bring it down, let's flow. Hands come through the heart, bring it all the way down. Left leg comes back, high low plank. Inhale the up facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. And hold for inhale. With the exhale, look at your thumbs, bend your knees. Let's get to the top of our yoga mat. Stay down for forward fold. And let's roll it all the way up. Arms reaching up towards the ceiling. Hands are going to calm down. Let's come to our second chair pose. From here, stay on the heels or shift the weight forward. Take those heels off of the yoga mat. Hold it for three, two. Heels are gonna come down. Holding steady here. Left leg is gonna rise up and we're gonna take that left leg back and we're instantly coming in to crescent lunge. Holding here, take an inhale. With the exhale, let's open back up to warrior two. Let's reverse the warrior, right palm flips up. Let's bring it back, back to warrior two. Side angle one more time, upper body shifts. Right elbow to the right knee, left arm is up. If you wanna go further, right hand can come down all the way. If you wanna take it into a bind, left arm comes back, right arm comes under that right leg. And you find that connection here. Hold for three, two, let's release. Reverse the warrior, back to warrior two. Bringing it back to crescent lunge. Left arm comes up, a lot of movement in the legs today. Take an inhale here, with the exhale. We're actually gonna either step it up to warrior three, or I want you to stay right in crescent lunge. So take an inhale, Exhale, either step it up or stay. Hold for three, two. If you took the warrior three, bring it back down to crescent lunge, and let's flow. Hands come through the heart, right leg comes back. Down to chaturanga. Inhale to up facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Left leg comes up, bend that left knee, open the hip. Staying right where you are. Left leg comes in between the hands. Right from here, keep that left leg rounded. As we rise up, we're actually gonna step 
Step it up into warrior three. Everything will just be mirrored from what we just did. Bring it back to crescent lunge. Arms up by the ears. Open it up to warrior two. Staying steady here. Let's reverse the warrior. Left palm flips. Reach it back. Back to warrior two. Side angle left side. Shift the upper body forward. Left elbow to the left knee. Right arm comes up. Take it deeper if you would like to. Left arm can come all the way down. Right arm can come up or take that right arm back. Left arm finds connection in your body. Let's release, bringing it in back to warrior two. Reverse the warrior, back to warrior two. Coming back into crescent line. Right arm comes up. Now from here, keep that left knee bent. We're gonna step it up in the chair pose. Step it up, come into chair. Hold it here for three, two, and bring it into a forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or float it back, bringing it in high to low plank. Inhale to up facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Let's take that right leg, bring it up towards the ceiling, bend that right knee. Right leg comes in between the hands. Staying down for a low lunge, right here. I want you to take that right hand and bring it inside that right leg. Now, you can take that left knee and bring it down to the yoga mat as we lower the upper body and bring the forearms down. Let's bring it up, and I want you to rise on up. As we rise up, I want you to bring it in to warrior two. I'm gonna switch sides. That way you don't have to look at my booty the whole time. In warrior two, let's reverse. Right palm flips up, reach it back. Back to warrior two. Stay right here. We're gonna keep that right knee bent. Left knee is gonna open up as well. And we're gonna sit deep, coming in to goddess pose. Hold it here for three, two. Hands are gonna come down to the yoga mat and I want you to straighten out those legs. Hands come to the waist. Let's roll it up. Take that right knee. Bend it. Left knee, left leg turns, coming back to crescent lunge. Taking an inhale, either stepping it up into a forward fold or coming into warrior three once again. Hands come to the heart and we bring it down into a forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's step or float it back, bringing it in high to low plank. Inhale to up facing dog. And exhale down facing dog. Let's do it on the left side. Left leg comes up. Bend that left knee. Open the hip. Left leg comes in between the hands. And right here we stay. Or bring that right knee down. Left arm comes inside that left leg. And we bring the hands down to the forearms. Or lift that right leg up or that right leg up. Now bring the upper body up. Holding here, open it up to warrior two. Let's reverse the warrior. Back to warrior two. Left knee stays bent. Open up that right knee again. Coming back into a beautiful goddess. Hold it here for three. Two, hands come down to the yoga mat. Straighten out those legs. From here, hands come to the waist. Let's roll it all the way up. Left knee, bend, right leg. Comes back to crescent lunge. We step it up into a forward fold or warrior three. 
step it up. And hand to the heart and bring it down to a forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, and let's roll it all the way up. Arms reaching up towards the ceiling. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Let's take those feet and let's spread them hip distance apart. Or I apologize, mat distance apart. Coming into our yogi squat. If you want to come back just into goddess pose, feel free. Or a sumo squat where we don't sit as far down. We just keep the chest lifted and hips come to a parallel with the legs. Or we come into our yogi squats. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, let's lower down. Now is a great time to practice your crow pose if you'd like to. I'm going to keep you here for about 15 seconds. Five more seconds to go. Hands come to the yoga mat. Let's bring it up. Hands to the waist. Bring those two toes to touch. And let's roll it all the way up. Arms reaching up towards the ceiling. Hands come through the heart and let's open up into standing rest mountain pose. Close the eyes down. Grab a drink of water if you'd like to. And just breathe. Let's take a few inhales. And exhales. One more inhale. And exhale. All right, let's open up those eyes. Hands are gonna come to the heart. We're gonna just do a couple of leg balances today and then we're gonna get onto that stretch of the legs. Grounding that left leg, right knee is gonna come up. We're gonna grab that knee by interlacing the fingers, pulling that chest up, holding it here. Now, from here, I want you to take that left hand and bring it up. Right hand is gonna slide down, and we're gonna bring that right leg back. Finding the balance here, and then we're simply gonna bring it in to dancer's pose. Chest comes forward, kick that right leg back, and find your balance. Hold for three, two, let's bring it back up. Keep that right knee up if you can. If you stumble like I just did, no big deal. Both hands come up, holding here. We're gonna bring it back into warrior three. And then bring those hands down, and I want you to kick that right leg up as high as it'll go. And bring that right leg down. Let's roll it all the way up. Arms reaching up towards the ceiling. Hands come to the heart. Let's do our left side. Ground that right leg, left knee comes up. Interlacing those fingers. Pull that left leg up to the chest. From here, we release the right hand, bringing it up. Left hand slides down, and we come into dancer's pose. Left side, shift the upper body forward, and kick that left leg back. Let's bring it back up. Hands come to the heart. Nope, hands don't come to the heart. We're bringing both those arms up. And let's take that left leg back, coming into warrior three. Hands now come to the yoga mat, and let's kick that left leg up. And bring it down to a forward fold. Rolling all the way up. Arms reaching up towards the ceiling. Hands coming to the heart. Let's do one more leg balance, tree pose. Just one on each side. All right, so we ground the left leg. Let's take that right knee and bend it, bringing it up, and let's open up that right leg, whether it's at the shin, upper thigh, half lotus, wherever you wanna go. Hands stay steady. Interlace those fingers. Let's reach it up towards the ceiling, maybe relaxing the shoulders. If you would like to, you can shift the gaze up. You decide. Hands come down to the heart. 
take that right leg. We're all about stretching and strengthening the legs today. So we're gonna take that right leg and cross it over. Upper body's gonna come down and we're gonna straighten out that left leg, bringing the body down. Roll it all the way back up, trying to keep the balance. Right knee comes up, kick the right leg out. Hold for three, two, bend that right knee. Let's bring it down. Take an inhale up. Last round of balancing, hands come to the heart. Ground that right leg, left knee comes up. From here, we open that leg. But coming in to our chair, or my goodness, we're coming in to our tree pose. Grounding on the yoga mat, shin, upper thigh, or half lotus. Hands interlaced on the fingers and we reach up. Feeling the stretch and feeling strong here. Hands come back down. Let's take this left leg, cross it over. Bring the upper body down if you can. If not, just stay right where you are. You go as far as you feel comfortable going. Maybe feel a little eager to push yourself. Let's bring it back up. Hands come to the heart, left leg comes up. Kick it forward. Hold for three, two, bend that left knee, and let's bring it down. Reach up towards the ceiling. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, bring it all the way down. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's step or float it back, coming in high to low plank. And inhale to up facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Stay for inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Now, let's take that right leg, bring it up towards the ceiling. I want you to bend that right knee, open the hip. I want you to look underneath your left armpit. If you can see that left foot, I want you to flip it over, opening up into wild thing. Right arm is going to come back up. Right hand comes to the yoga mat, bring it back up to a three-legged dog, and take that right leg and bring it back behind the wrist, lengthening out for half pigeon on the right side. Forearms can come down, you can bring your forehead down to the yoga mat. You decide. Remembering to breathe, catch the breath. Let's bring the upper body up. Hand come to the yoga mat, curl the toes on the left foot, and bring it up. Right leg comes down. And we gently center our body. Let's take the left leg, bring it up towards the ceiling, bend that left knee, open the hip. Look under that right armpit. If you see that left foot, flip it over. Coming into wild thing. Let's bring it back. And take that left leg, bring it back behind the wrist. And let's come into half pigeon, left side. Nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody. Remembering to breathe, don't tighten the muscles. Nobody, no, Hands come to the yoga mat. Curl the toes on the right foot and let's kick up. Work out any kinks you might have, and bring that left leg down. Now, I want you to bring it into a tabletop position. 
from our tabletop position. I want you to come on up. Hands are gonna come to the lower part of our back as we come into camel pose. We're gonna slowly lean it back. This is our back bend. So be very careful as we bring the back and curve the spine. Take an inhale and lean it back. If you wanna go a little bit further, feel free. You can curl the toes and you can bring it back. Just keep those legs nice and straight. Or you can uncurl the toes and take it all the way back. You decide how far you want to go. Let's bring it back up. Hands come to the heart. Let's curve up the spine. And bring the spine to relaxation. Let's sit back on the heels, bringing the feet straight out. Upper body's gonna come forward. And coming into a forward fold. Let's roll it all the way up, arms reaching up. Hands are gonna come to the heart. We're gonna take it back. Coming onto our backs. Interlace those fingers. Give yourself a full body stretch here. And hands come to the side. We are coming straight into our inversions. You can take those feet and just simply bring them up the wall. Or you can come into shoulder stand, head stand, hand stand. You decide what you want to do. You can take the legs back into plow if you'd like to. And let's bring it back up. And let's take those legs into a wide V. Right leg can cross over. Ankles, shin, or the knee lady legs. Bring the legs back to a wide V. And left leg crosses over. Let's unravel the legs. Let's hold the integrity of the pose for just a little bit longer. And then let's lower down. Bringing it in. The knees in, rocking side to side. And let's bring it into happy baby. If you came into an inversion of headstand, handstand, or forearm stand, please come in. Um, child's pose. Everyone else, let's do happy baby, rocking side to side. Bring the knees to the chest, wherever you are, and let's lay our body out for Shavasana. Hands come to the side. You can grab an article of clothing if you'd like to. And we simply breathe. Taking in our inhales and exhales, releasing the mind, and letting the body rest. You can stay here for as long as you would like to. Hopefully there's nothing pressuring you to finish up this video quickly. You can keep the music playing if you would like to. Stay in Shavasana for as long as you would like. If you'd like to, left hand can come to the heart, right hand can come to the stomach. And you come full circle back to the breath. We take our inhales and exhales here. And we empower ourselves, we lift ourselves up, encourage, strengthen. Find our inner voice and use that voice to tell ourselves how awesome we are. Whenever you are ready, you can pause this video if you'd like to, or continue on with me. We're going to take a big inhale, bringing the hands to the heart, and exhale. We bring our chins down to our chest. I want to thank you so much.
so much for joining me today with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate any feedback or comments that you have. Take one more inhale in. Exhale out. And together or alone, we say namaste. Thank you so much for being with me today. If you want to keep going, check out more videos from Less for Yoga. Thank you.